Hello, this is Garth Holman back. Um, this is part of the remote learning series from teachersfortomorrow.net. And I'm going to talk about uh, uploading a video to your YouTube and making a playlist. So let's just go back. We were in um, our account. So again, we, we should remember that from the last one. I can go to my channel and I'm on my channel. But I'm teaching um, first grade and I need the uh, letters, you know. I probably should have came up with something a little bit more, but let's say we got these letters. So I don't know if we can do, I don't know. Okay, so here's the way this works. Anytime you find a video you may like, uh, I picked a pretty crappy one, let's say, but right now I picked a thing on, on letters. Now let's assume I really like this video. Ah. All right, this is important for you to see. This you cannot share, and it says down here it's been disabled because of a, a kid thing. So I'm gonna can't. Well, I'm gonna keep going even though this is not my original plan. Some of you will find that you can't do that because of the new thing they put in YouTube about is the video made for kids. If it is, then they won't let you add it to a playlist, or there's certain things you can't do. So I'm gonna do something like, um, you know, I'm trying to think. Of, oh, we'll do the Crusades. Something I teach. So when the Crusades come up, um, let's say Crash Course. So Crash Course is good. Like, I'm just going to assume all three of these are really good videos. Now, I would never give my kids a 47-minute video to watch, but let's say this, this five-minute video. So when you click it and it opens, you're going to get this icon down here that says Save. So I'm going to pause the video. This is important. This Save is how you create a playlist. So you simply click it. It pops up. Now you can look, I have lots of playlists. And it's already in one called Crusades, so I'm gonna make another one and just call it Crusades 2. So that you can see me building it. So you have to type in the name you want and you click Create. That is now in that playlist. So let's go back. Um, and I wanted to use the Crusades in five minutes. Again, I have not watched this, so I'm not saying this is a good one, but I pause it. I've got the save. I click that again, if it'll take. And I have now, I can scroll, whoops, I scrolled too far. When that opens, I should be able to scroll down. And I guess my Crusades 2 is here, so I just click it. I'm saying just put it in that one. Now I can click off. So I'm gonna do one more so we see the process and you can see how a playlist ultimately works. Um, that's 20. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, we'll try this one. Um, I was just saying, I don't know if it's good or bad, but we're just making a playlist, so I'll show you. So I click playlist again, Crusades 2. I should now have three. So if I go back to my channel, as my channel opens, um, I can go to playlist. And in the playlist, I now have one called Crusades. If I open that up, it says show three videos. The way a playlist can be shared with your students is you could have the three videos you want them to watch. They literally come, they play all, and it's going to create in YouTube. Here's the first video you're supposed to watch. Here are number two, and here's number three. So you can send this address. Here is address. 1095 CE. We stand at the Council of Claremont in the audience. We can send this playlist to kids in Google Classroom or in a Google Doc, and now they have three videos instead of one. Playlists are a great way to save and organize. You know, you, how many times have you watched the video and said, oh, I'd love to use that, and then you can't remember the name or how to find it. Playlists are a way to solve that. Now, the second part of this is how do you upload? So I'm going to do two things. I'm double screen recording here. I'm using Screencastify, so I'm going to end that recording. I'll disappear from here, but I'll still be, you'll still be able to hear me and record. So I'm going to upload it first through Screencastify. Then I'm going to turn around and stop my uh, QuickTime. I'm going to stop my QuickTime, and I'll upload that um, in another way. So I stop sharing. My recording is still working. We're still recording this. And now I'm going to Screencastify where my video opens and is saving. I'm going to change the name to um, Part 2. Uh, playlist and upload. 
So you can play yours. It's always muted, so if you click to unmute, you I'm can hear channel. it. Um, you can check and make sure everything's there. I don't typically listen to the whole tutorial over. I'm happy with this. Screencastify is a great thing. It says just publish to YouTube. So you can literally just click publish to YouTube. You may have to add your channel, okay, if you've never done this before. But you just add your channel. You'll click here, and it'll just say authorize your Gmail, and you go through that process. You don't want the video to be private. You want it to be anyone can view it. And then this is where you would write it. So, you know, I'll go back in and write this later for sure, but part two, YouTube um, playlist and uploads. And so I'm going to click go ahead and it literally will just send it to my YouTube. Now if you stay here long enough while this um, does it, sometimes it takes a couple minutes, it will kick up and say it's been loaded and it'll give you a link that you can, there it is, recording has been uploaded, view it on YouTube. So I can immediately click on YouTube and here is that video now up on the web for you to see. Now it says it's still processing. So I'm gonna copy that address and I can go back here and I can say, hey, making a playlist. There it is. The link isn't active at this moment, but it will be in a few minutes. So that's one way you can do it. The second way you can do it, which I guess I'll do it this way too, um, is I'm going to uh, download this real quick. Uh, is it an exporter? I think this is what I want. So hopefully it'll be good. If this downloads, I can then show you how to upload it through YouTube, which is a little different process, but still not very difficult. Um, as it's downloading, if I go back to my, well, I don't need to go back to my channel. I can do it from right here. Um, but I'll go back to my channel so you can see, again, I'm trying to get you used to going places. So you're in your channel and you have your upload. Let me go back and see if it's done yet. It is not done. So I'm going to do a different file on my desktop. I won't go through the whole process just so we don't have to wait. Once I click the upload, it builds the upload icon. And it's going to say select your file. So in this case, I have multiple videos on my desktop. I'm just going to pick one. Again, I'm not going to upload it all the way to a link where you can see it, but I will at least show you the process. Here I can look down through here and I have like, um, you know, remote, I don't want to pick those, they're really, really long. Um, do, 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 do. I may have to, because it's, I'm just going to pick these, hopefully they're shorter. They'll upload fairly quickly, but it's not really uploaded. Here's where you get your descriptions, I had stuff pre-done, but you look, it's at 8%, so it's going to take a few minutes to upload. So here you put the same thing we did, title, you're going to put the description. If you want to put it to a playlist, you can select from your playlist right here and add it right to a playlist so you never have to go look. This is where that one gets tricky. If you say yes, it's made for kids, it will not let it add to a playlist. If you say no, it will. And then really, there's nothing else to do here. If you look, the link is going to be right here. You just can say, okay, I'm happy, I pick no, it's not made for kids. Um, oh, I don't have anything up here. Sorry. Um, part two. All right. This is test will be deleted in a minute. No, delete in a second. So because I got something in, I can do it. Gives me the next stuff. Hey, you don't really need to change these. You can read them. Third, do you want to publish it? Make it public where anyone can see it, which you always do. And the last thing you do is you click publish. And that video will appear then on your YouTube channel. If I go back, I'm sure my other video is now processed and uploaded, so we'll see. Um, I don't see it up there yet, but let's try this link and see if it's up and running. It still could be processing. Sometimes these take 20 minutes, but it doesn't look like it's still processing. Well, this is Garth Holman back. And there you go. Um, so now this is on YouTube, and you can see it. Here is number two. So I'm going to quit the QuickTime now and upload this version, so you'll be able to see this as well as that on the next version. Have a great day.